Despite continuous efforts by NTC and police to reduce road carnage, another life has been lost along the Chukameru Highway with two others sustaining serious injuries. The Rakanithi police commander, Mario Mari, says the driver of the Mercedes car was over speeding before he lost control of the vehicle. Elsewhere, family in Karichi, Muranga County is crying for justice after the 13-year-old mentally challenged daughter was allegedly defiled by the neighbor's farmhand. The suspect, 47 years, is said to have taken advantage of the girl while on her way to the market. The suspect is being remanded at the Kahura police station, awaiting to be arraigned in court. <laughs> Meanwhile, a total of 24 KCPE candidates who sat for 2017 examination in Kambu and Taitataveta counties are set to join from one next year courtesy of Equity Bank's Wings to Fly scholarship program. The students qualified in the selection of the most needy and vulnerable children are set to arrive in Nairobi to join other beneficiaries from across the country who met their selection criteria. <laughs> Meanwhile, a fun day at the Kitengela GK prisons almost turned tragic after an officer at the facility choked during a food eating competition. Paramedics had to be called in with the incident threatening to dampen the rather colorful event. <laughs> Elsewhere police in Migori County are holding a former Migori member of County Assembly for obtaining money under false pretense. Elias Ogamba is said to have obtained 600,000 shillings from a teacher in return of a well-paying job in the county government. The latest development coming barely a week after the disbursement of the County Public Service Board over corruption allegations. <laughs> Finally, over 200 teachers and 50 directors from private schools in Mombasa County have undertaken an induction course on the new curriculum said to be introduced next term. Um, speaking after the training at the Vision of Hope Children's Center in Miritini, the beneficiaries of the training expressed a support of the new model that stresses continuous assessment tests over summative evaluation. Linus Moshigadi for Channel One News.